Hello and welcome back to Konrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. The beer of this week comes from the Schneidel Brewery. Uh, it's a small brewery uh, in a very rural area near the Bavarian border. Uh, it's brewed by Matthias Schneidel and he is uh, trying to get the whole idea of a Munich style Dunkles, the dark Munich lager, uh, into uh, this beer, uh, which is quite a traditional one. Uh, that's the beer that his grandfathers and grand-grandfathers have brewed and that people in the countryside enjoy. He's brought it back into several taverns in, in rather urban areas because people want to get in touch with what their grand-grandfathers had enjoyed. So this Munich-style beer is the one that gets you back to an area when, when life was slower, so the beer is almost caramelly and it's, it's dark, it's dark in color. So what happens when we pour this beer? You can see it has a wonderful copper color and now we see how the foam, how the head builds up. Uh, this beer comes in a very traditional mug. It's a mug that uh, probably has been around in this form for maybe one and a half centuries, at least in the region where this beer comes from. And uh, as I said, the style, is very traditional. Let's see how the taste is. No, first check the aroma. Ah, that's caramel. It's a very caramelly aroma, which sort of indicates that that beer might sweet. But it isn't. It is not sweet. It just has some full body full bodiedness to it. So it's a it's a multi character. It's a it's a character uh, that that makes you think it's a very bold beer at only 5% alcohol. And you have a wonderful dry aftertaste. So this beer not being sweet, but being bold in the start and rather dry in the finish, gives you the idea that you want to drink more, which is uh, uh, quite a good thing for a beer to be moreish. Um, and Matthias Schneidel, he sort of suggests that you want to have healthy Upper Austrian food with it. That would be a bratel in the Rhine, which is uh, a pork that is, uh, comes in a pan with all the, the vegetables and everything you want with it. Well, all the vegetables means very little vegetables and a lot of pork. Or you want to enjoy it in a beer garden. So this is the ideal beer for a Bavarian or Upper Austrian beer garden. Uh, and uh, I hope you have the chance to sample it there and hope to see you next time when we sample the next beer of the week.